Hello and welcome to Verger TV, where we explore everything about the Episcopal Church and the ministry of the Verger. Today we're talking about bylaws. And I bet you're thinking, you got to be kidding. Bylaws, yuck. Well, I really think you're going to like this, so hang in there. Today we're talking with our great friend, Walt Kendrigan. Walt's a longtime verger who's now a priest and chaplain of the Vergers Guild. Walt and the board have updated our bylaws to improve our operations in a few key areas. I really think you'll be interested in what he has to say, so stay tuned. If you're not a Verger TV subscriber, be sure to subscribe to the channel and also like this video because it really helps the channel a lot. And nobody really likes bylaws, so we need all the likes we can get. See the description of the video below for several links about what we're talking about today. And do make plans now to join us in Texas the last week of October for our 2019 annual conference at Camp Allen. We'll be acting on everything that we're talking about in this video, so I really hope to see you there. Okay, let's meet Walt and talk about some bylaws. Yuck! I'm Scott Smith, president of the Vergers Guild of the Episcopal Church. Today we're talking with Walt Kendrigan, who is chaplain of the Guild. I'm at home here in New York City, and Walt's at home about 1,200 miles away in Pensacola, Florida. Hey, welcome to Verger TV, Walt. Hi, Scott. It's good to see you today. I always enjoy getting together with you and others on this Verger TV, and especially uh, at our annual conferences when we gather. So so, Walt, we had several objectives that we developed when we started the amendment process. The first objective was to improve the nominations process and the board elections. Two, change the way we vote. Three, make the annual meeting more accessible to all members. And four, clean up typos and inconsistencies. So the first objective was to improve the nominations process and the board elections. What can you say about that? Or presently, the nominations process is biased in favor of the people who are able to attend the conference. Because we've had the election in person at the conference, those who were present and able to speak to their biography or to the, their desire to serve had kind of an edge on those who, for some reason or another, weren't able to come and had to be represented by a little video. So our intention is to, in the process of of moving toward electronic voting to uh, present all of the nominees by video to all of the membership. The, the idea that those who can show up at the conference have an edge over others uh, won't be the case. We have elected wonderful, wonderful people in the past, and we hope to continue to do that. Certainly, um, we have many, many capable uh, members who are willing to serve, have the time to serve, and have the talent to serve that we have not reached uh, because of the requirement to be present at a conference. So uh, we hope to improve on that. So Walt, the second objective of the whole amendment process was to change the way we vote. What can you tell us about that? The board has been working for some time now on a way to ensure that every member of the guild gets to vote. That's a right of membership that each guild member can vote to elect the board that governs the guild. But in practicality, in the past, unless you were able to attend the conference, you weren't able to vote. We want to revise the, uh, the bylaws so that we'll vote electronically in the future. So that whether you're at a conference or not, uh, you can vote in the annual election. So in the past, we've had about 10% of our members at a, any given conference, and they've been able to vote. In the future, we hope that 100% or certainly up in the high 90s of our membership will vote in each election. Um, so that, that uh, is reason enough to change the bylaws. Um, so the third objective was to make the annual meeting more accessible to all members. What can you tell us about that, Walt? Live streaming the annual meeting out to the membership helps the entire membership uh, feel a part of what's taking place. And so uh, we think it's important to let people see it as it happens or after the fact if, if they want to tune in later. I will say, though, that the, just a plug for the annual conference, the annual conference is so much more than the annual meeting. We 
have keynote speakers, we have ministry uh, work that we do together. We, most importantly, uh, share fellowship with each other. We recognize new members. Uh, there are so many other things that go on that make the annual conference an important gathering. Uh, but the meeting is, is not insignificant. And uh, even when we move the annual election, to an electronic format, uh, the uh, results of that and the other uh, topics that get covered at the meeting will be shared with the entire membership through video live streaming. So Walt, the fourth objective of the amendments was to clean up typos and inconsistencies. What can you say about that? It just became evident uh, as we were going through the uh, the bylaws and moving, we actually moved a paragraph uh, from one place to another, and we changed words that needed to be changed in order to facilitate electronic elections instead of at the annual meeting. And it, it just becomes uh, clear that some places you just plain old had typos, and there are other places where the, the way something was said in one paragraph didn't really match uh, uh, perfectly with the way it was said in another paragraph. So we we've cleaned up some of those. Anybody would do the same. Well, I really appreciate your uh, spending time with me. We, we just spent about an hour uh, talking together and we're going to compress this down to about four minutes, but I think we've got some really good material and I really want to thank you uh, for taking the time to do this. Scott, it's been good to work with you and with the other members of the board on these uh, bylaws amendments. I think they're important. Uh, I think the Guild is a worthy organization. I'm so happy to be part of it. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you and all my uh, friends and vergers at the conference coming up at Camp Allen this October. God bless you, my friend. Bye. So I'd like to send out a huge thank you to Walt for appearing here on Verger TV. We really did have fun doing this. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to see the links in the description below to download a PDF of the entire amendment. I'm happy to report that it was approved unanimously by the board on August 14th. It'll now move for approval at the 2019 annual meeting in Camp Allen, so it's more important than ever that you plan to be there with us. Go to vergers.org and register today. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we really do want to see you there. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on Verger TV.